Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, one of the things I try to do here online is I try to shine a light on boxers who, quite frankly, deserve a higher profile. And you have a fight happening tomorrow that I hope people watch and I hope people take a note of it because it's a title fight for the WBA World Female Minimum Weight title and the champion is Annabelle Ortiz that's a name you need to know in my favorites folder right now is a workout of hers right it's for the press it's a title fight this is a champion taking a victory lap and the workout's impressive because what I want you to do is to just take note of the hand speed and combinations, right? Ortiz can flash some hand speed. She is very fluid. Uh, the workout doesn't quite show you everything she's bringing into the ring because she's very adept on her back foot she's a defense first fighter she's very hard to catch up with in the ring in other words she's really there to outbox you to break you down to have you come looking for her and then to frustrate you on the exchanges now she's won 13 fights in a row she hasn't lost since 2012 when she ran into Jessica Bop who is one of the best boxers uh, in female fighting, right? That fight was for the WBA light flyweight title. Just be aware that Jessica Bopp uh, is Argentinian, and that fight took place in Argentina. It went the distance. Annabelle Ortiz did get dropped in the fourth round. You'll notice in the knockdown, and I have a video of this fight in my favorites folder here on YouTube. Ortiz immediately got back up and claimed that she was pushed. Now it looked to me like she got hit. Understand Jessica Bopp has power, has ring coverage. In other words, she can hit you from halfway across the ring, has ring presence. In other words, as she goes around the ring, it's kind of like Canelo. Your eyes are riveted to her because there's a certain economy of movement and a certain confidence that comes through in how she moves, right? She also knows how to faint, not just hand faints, but foot faints. In other words, the fighter who Annabelle Ortiz last lost to is one of the best fighters pound for pound in women's boxing, right? She hasn't lost since. This fight is really a victory lap fight against someone named Brenda Ramos who has lost three of her last four fights and whose one victory came against an opponent who had a losing record, six wins and eight losses. So I'm expecting Annabelle Ortiz to put on a show this weekend. I hope that you take a close look at her because she's one of the best. Right, this is the minimum weight champion who has not lost for close to five years. Right, and she's going to be showing a lot of hand speed, a lot of boxing brilliance this weekend. The fight takes place tomorrow. I think it's worth a look. Anyway, that's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section to this video. Thanks for stopping by.